In this step, we're going to create a descriptive grading sheet where student's name will be dynamically pulled from student sheet and subject names will come from config file and grades will be selected via data validation from predefined options in the config sheet. This will be the basic structure of our descriptive uh, grading sheet. So here, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm not going to copy uh, and paste student names and what I'm going to do is I will be dynamically pulling student names from the uh, students list here. I'll be using array formula. Let's start by typing equal array formula. Okay, let's go to students sheet where we have our data. So I'm going to scroll up from here all the way down to, to the end of the list. I will need this information. Let me close bracket. Okay, you see all of the student names come. In fact, I want to start it from A1, so it includes headers as well. You see, now I have everything here. And if I, if anything changes here, let's say I will change uh, Alexander Smith, Smith from year five to year six, for example. So if you go back here, it will be automatically changed dynamically. Otherwise, you had to copy and paste every time. Okay, so let's go back and make it year five again. So this is our uh, student list. Okay, good. So on here, on the top of the page, I want to have these subjects here. So we have these subjects and I want mark for all of these subjects, okay? So uh, I will copy this. So how, to, so how to put the subject names on the top of the page? I copied there. If I paste it here, it's not going to work, okay? But I will right click, I will go to paste spatial, and then I will choose uh, transpose. So as you see right now, it copied them this way, horizontally, okay, instead of vertically. Okay, this is already very good, but we can do something even better because later on, what if uh, we delete this subject, maybe instead of ICT, we have maybe art, okay? And now if we go back, you see ICT is still staying here. So I want everything dynamic, okay? So let me go back and then delete this. So instead of uh, copying and pasting here, I will delete this. And I will, I will use array formula also. Array formula. And I will go back here. I will select everything. Okay, so we successfully uh, retrieve the information here, but there's only, there's one more thing to tackle with here, okay? Because we want them to be here uh, horizontally, not vertically, right? So on, in the beginning of this formula, I will add one more thing, transpose. And let's put a round bracket or parenthesis around it. When I do that, it will transpose it, okay? So now let's do it do again. I'm going to change IC to, to art. And you see, uh, it's automatically applied, all right? That is the beauty of using formulas and uh, being dynamic. Uh, let's move on. Okay, let's format a little bit. I'm going to make it bold. Okay, and uh, I will also freeze the first row so I can when I scroll down the subject names are still there so the next thing we are going to do is this will be actually descriptive grading okay descriptive grading descriptive grading so so grades will be like like this for example exceeding proficient competent developing emer emerging and ungraded of course, we're not going to, because th this sheet will be filled by the teacher, right? We don't want teacher to write here exceeding 
and uh, so imagine if they make a one single typo here it will ruin everything that's why we don't want them to type here we want them to actually um, use drop down so we will apply same grading um, structure for all of the subjects okay so we will select all of the cells here okay so here what we want is uh, we want to apply uh, data validation here and from the drop down and dynamic so what we're going to do is we will go to data and then data validation add rule so we're not going to use drop down okay we will use drop down from range okay so once we select drop down from range we need to click here and then go back to our config file and where we have our descriptive grading okay we'll select it and click ok and then done let's close this as you see right now we have uh, drop downs here so let's uh, increase the width of our column a little bit select all the columns drag it right so they're all equal right now okay so let's see what we have in the drop downs okay so as you see we have exceeding proficient developing all right i'm going to delete all unnecessary columns select everything right click and delete and then rows also click here and scroll down all the way down and i will press shift and then click uh, the last one here so this way i selected everything right click and delete i have the only rows and columns i needed for this so i'm going to share this file with all of the subject teachers and hopefully they will uh, fill all the uh, grades here so by applying data validation we are restricting the possible grades to those predefined in the config sheet this ensures consistency and avoids errors when entering grades for each student. And in this section, we are going to create a behavior grade sheet. This will store the behavior grades for each student, just like, just like we did in the descriptive grades. Uh, we will pull student names and class information dynamically from the student sheet and use a list of predefined behavior. So instead of creating exact same thing for behavior, you see behavior grade will be very similar to uh, descriptive grade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one, okay? And I will just simply duplicate this sheet, okay? Duplicate. And I will name it, you see right now, copy of descriptive grades. I will rename it behavior. Behavior. So I will simply uh, make some changes. As you see, so we already have the student list, so we don't have to do the same thing again. So that's why I duplicate it. So here, besides student information, I, I just need one column here with the name behavior. As you see right now, this is uh, using array formula to take all of the subjects. I will delete this and I will just type here behavior behavior grade okay behavior grade so I will need only one column and I'm going to delete a, the rest of them okay right now this one is having this one is linked to config file and here right but for behavior we have different grading okay it's here so what I'm going to do is I will go here and select all of them and I need to change the data validation. I will go to data, data validation. So uh, I will just remove it. Okay, right now there is no data validation. I will add rule and again from range. And from here, I'm going to select the data range. And from here, I'll go to config. And from config, we will need this range. And here, done. So let's go back. So as you see right now, we have behavior grade, 
validation and teachers will get to choose one of these options uh, when they grade behavior. In this section, we will create comment sheets where we will import detailed feedback for each student in the various subjects. We'll dynamically pull student names and class information from the student sheet and subject names from the config sheet. Let's get started. The comment sheet will be very similar to a descriptive uh, grade sheet, okay? So this part will be the same, this part will be the same. The only difference is that here, teachers, instead of using drop down, they will just uh, write text there, okay? They will, without data validation, all we need to do is I'm going to duplicate this one, okay? And then I will rename it comments. Okay. Oh, because we already have a comments sheet, uh, empty one, I'm going to delete this one so I don't have to do everything from scratch, okay? So we, this is a copy of the descriptive grades. I will rename it as uh, comments. As I said earlier, we have everything we need here, student names and subject names. All we need to do is we will just uh, remove this rule for validations, okay? When we do that, and uh, teachers will be able to write freely without any restrictions, okay? As you see, let me close it right now. Okay, I'm an ICT teacher and I'm going to write a comment for Alexander, okay? So, saying that shows competency in using ICT tools, but but can improve efficiently. As you see, the text doesn't fit here. Let's enter one comment for history as well, okay? And, all right. As you see, they don't fit here because they are much longer. So what we can do is that we can go here, like there are three dots here, and then you can go to text wrapping. You can do text wrapping. Text wrapping will make the text fit in the cell, okay? So it can make the cell as high as needed. Another thing we can do is we can widen a bit uh, the columns because these are comments and it takes much more space than uh, descriptive grade, grades. This has two uh, lines here, but this one is one line. And what we want to do is we want it to be on the top, not in the bottom of the cell, okay? So we can also do wrapping here also, text wrapping. So this is exactly how we want, okay? And now I want all of the other columns have the same formatting. So what I need to do normally is I need to go all of the cells and make it wrap and then uh, top. But instead, what I'm going to do is I will click here and then click this paint format here, okay? So when I do that, I can apply the same format to all of the cells, okay? So at one go, all right? So now, for example, let's try. I'm going to copy and paste a long text here to see if it is wrapping. Yeah, it wraps, okay? And if I type something here, gibberish, our formatting is working. Now we have created comment sheet where we can enter the detailed feedback for each student across all subjects. In fact, I already entered comments, dummy comments, of course, for all of the subjects for each student, okay? So this setup ensures that student names and class information are always up to date while allowing for manual entry of personalized feedback. Next, we'll link this comments data to report card sheet, making sure that all feedback appears automatically based on the selected student. And that's it. Whether you are a teacher looking to streamline your grading or just someone wanting to learn more about Power of Google Sheets, this method is a game changer. Feel free to use this system in your own workflow and don't forget to check the template link in the description if you would like to get started right away. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth Google Sheets tutorials and productivity tips.
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.